All right. My nose is itchy today. I don't know why. It's very itchy. It's bothering me. It keeps showing those those uh, bars. That's weird. So what I need to do, I need to go down to ground level and go back down to that area. Remember there was the poison pond with the spiders and there the baby monsters with giant fucking mutant hands for heads? That's apparently where the onion knight is. So I'm headed back that direction. Here it is. Stupid gar gargoyle showed up. That thing sucks. Push over gargoyle. All right, so I need to. F I actually purposely fall in here and get poisoned. Look how much more aggressive the spiders are now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the, the spiders were apparently fucked up earlier in the game when I fought them. Because now they're way more aggressive. Look. That's way more aggressive than they were previously. Holy shit. Remember, they wouldn't even move. And now they're just crazy. They go right after your ass. Well, that didn't work. I need to equip a better one, I think. I think I have a better one that will cure this. Here it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those things are fucking way more aggressive. They were not like that at all earlier on. That is weird that they changed the enemy completely. So I already cleared all these rooms and everything. What I want to do is go up here. There should be an asshole up here, I think. Now, you know what? I killed him already. There was a guy over here. I killed him already. So here, this right here, remember this? Remember this running jump I did earlier in the game? And there was nothing really in there. There's like one item. Apparently, the Onion Knight may be imprisoned in here now. So let's find out. He's here! Wow! Oh, you are a saint. He's here. Once again, you are my valiant savior. I, Siegfried of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this, a token of my thanks. Go on, it's all yours. Titanite slab, reward for completing this quest line. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take, and a duty to fulfill. That is soon. Now, if I remember correctly, I thought there was more to do here. I thought there was. I guess I'm wrong. I thought there was a secret wall. So what's funny is, you see the door is open. If you remember previously in the game, I opened it, right? The door was supposed to be locked for him so he couldn't escape. But the door was open because I've already been here. So it makes no sense that he's here and he thinks that he's locked in here. It's so stupid. Oh, no, please. I've and... Okay. So that's, you give me a Titanite slab. That's a great reward because that means I can max out another weapon, which I might want to do later. Um. So now... I think I'm going to use a Homeward Bone, okay. Get out of there. I think the next step in his quest line was supposed to be to go to Yorm, but Yorm's dead. So I don't know what's going to happen if I go see Yorm. Okay. 
Okay. So let's go, let's travel to Yorm and see what happens. Because I guess what was supposed to happen is if you hadn't killed Yorm yet, he would show up for the fight. And he'd help you fight Yorm. Which actually makes the fight even easier, because if you got the Stormbringer, right? He distracts Yorm while you just hit him with the fucking Stormbringer non-stop. It makes the whole fight a pushover. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what happens. See if this works. Yes, look! It worked! The Storm Ruler. I already had it, didn't I? Wait a minute. Wait. Why the fuck do I have two? <laughs> I have two. Look. Why the hell do I need two Storm Rulers? That's all I got for that? That sucks. The Onion Knight's supposed to be here. And he is not. Nah, this, I guess you can't really complete it now. No. Alright, well. Tis a pity. But it appears that's pretty much it for now, right? I got a second fucking storm ruler for no reason. I think what, all, all that really happens if you complete it, if you kill Yorm with him as helping you, I think you get his armor set. And I don't know if there's like a, a trophy or achievement involved with the completion of the quest line or not. All right. All right, um, I want to see now, before we progress, bear with me, I want to see how many soul items I have on me. Because I might want to see if I can upgrade the Lothric or Lothric sword, knight sword, to max. And see if it's any better than the one that I have. And I might want to level up again. How many soul items do I have? Because if I can afford to buy two chunks, I think I can upgrade that sword to the max. Wow, it's 20,000. Great. I'm going to buy two chunks. Uh, how? Okay, here we go. Two. Ashen one. Now I can max out the other sword. Ah, well, it is good to see what needs Smith. Here it is. Yep. And now I can use the Titanite slab on it. Which is a... Damn, it makes it pretty hefty, huh? I did it. It's maxed. Yep, it's gone now. So now let's take a look. You be careful. There it is. So it's less, but the reason it's less, keep in mind, is because I have a refined gem on the refined dark sword. So what happens if I infuse this? Will it will it top? Will it top the scaling? Is my, what I'm wondering. It might. If I put a gem on it, let's find out. That is what needs. Here's your refined gem. It ups it to 197. Damn. 197. Hmm. That's the best one, I think. Unless I want to make, like, a magic sword or something. I missed the coal, because I can't put dark or hollow on one. So I missed a coal somewhere, which sucks. I really wish I had found the coal. I think I'm gonna do it, and then I'm gonna see. Let's see, let's do it. Because I can remove it anyway. There. Pretty be careful, I don't know. <laughs> I 
It's slightly less. Slightly less, but... It has a higher critical chance. Eh. Let me equip it and let's see. It's pretty much just as fast. What's its ability? Uh, hold on. A big uppercut. Or a running pierce. That's its ability. Much different than the other sword, right? The dark sword. The dark sword stomps. Hmm. So, it's okay. I mean, it's not... It's, not, it's close to being as good as the dark sword. But it's not as good. It's it's close. If anything, the only real benefit is slight slight weight differential. But as you can see, it actually has less base damage, which kind of sucks. And unfortunately, it has higher critical. So if you hit a critical hit, it's probably better. And it's not as good. It's not as good. Damn it. Oh well, I guess we're going back to- I tried! I tried another weapon, I guess we gotta go back to the Dark Sword. Actually, it's actually better than the other sword I was using, too. It's actually better than the Ithril, Ith Ithril Straight Sword. But the Dark Sword's the best one. Well, I tried, because people were saying try other swords. I tried, but as you saw, not as good. Nowhere even close. I think I have enough souls to level up, by the way. Let's see here. Okay. Whoa, I was way more than I thought it was. Oh shit, I might have way too many now. Let's see. Well, I mean, vitality is important. Or not vitality. Vigor is important. Stamina, I think I'm good. I think I have enough stamina now. I could just keep going for strength or dexterity at this point. I think I will. Let's just go for strength. More damage. Farewell, Ashen One. Make People want to see. I think they want to see the ability of the Dark Sword. It's that stomp. That's one. And you can do an uppercut afterward. See? It stops. It's supposed to, like, stagger your opponent. I think it only works on regular enemies, though. Okay. Alright, that's it. Gotta go back to where we were, right? Uh... Is this it? This is it, right? It goes up the ladder after this? I think so. No. No, no, no. This is it. The dancer. The dancer bonfire. There you go. Alright, we're going back. Oh. We are going back. <sighs> Alrighty. For what I'm to understand, there's 15 total Estus flasks in the game, and I think you can reinforce them up to level 10. So I did miss a few. I missed two flasks and one uh, undead bone shard. I don't know where they are. <clears throat> so 
So there's the boss. What is to the right? Because I haven't looked over here yet. Let's take a look over here and see what we've got coming up uh, before we take on the boss. 